Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is going to be another fun reading tag that I saw Alex over on Frank Fiction do and the question sounded super interesting. So I was like, why not do it myself and let you guys know about my answers. So the tag is called the i think it's called the what are you currently reading tag there are 10 prompts so i have them on my phone so let's jump right in so the first one is how many books do you read at once so i genuinely it honestly depends um but usually i would say i read two books two to three books at once i usually like to have one physical book one book on my kindle and one book on audio if they're all the same book that works for me, um, but sometimes I do typically have at least one audio, one Kindle and one physical book that I'm reading. So I would say usually at least two, but sometimes up to three that I'm reading at the same time. If you're reading more than one book at one time, how do you decide to switch to reading the other book? So I kind of, I'm a mood reader, so I genuinely go based off how I'm feeling. And usually the books that I'm reading are different genres. So for example, if I have a romance book that I'm reading physically, but then on my Kindle, I'm reading like a fantasy book. Um, it honestly will just kind of depend what mood I'm in. Um, and I usually pick one book to read for like a lengthy period of time. Like I don't switch back and forth, like depending on page count or time spent reading or anything like that. Like if I'm just genuinely wanting to read a romance, I will sit there and I will just read that book until I like no longer want to read a romance. Um, so it's pretty much just my mood is how I determine how long I'm going to be reading a book or what book I'm going to be reading out of the multiple that I am reading. Do you ever switch bookmarks while you are part way through a book? I do not. Usually I have a bookmark, take that bookmark, put it in the book, and that's the end of the show. I don't usually switch in the middle of a book. Um, I really only have like two or three bookmarks, honestly, that like I rotate through anyways with my physical books. So yeah, I don't usually switch it up midway through. Where do you keep the book you're currently reading? So honestly, it kind of travels with me. So um, when I'm home from work, it depends on where I'm reading. So if I'm like down in my reading area, which is like in, this is like in like the main living area of the house right now. So I have like an entertainment center here. So a lot of times the book that I'm currently reading will be on my entertainment center next to me and I will be having it here. If I'm upstairs in my reading room, it's on my ottoman. That's usually where I keep my Kindle or my book. Um, but usually my Kindle is up in my room because at night I always take my Kindle into bed with me just in case I decide I want to read. So my Kindle goes with me in my room every night. And then when I get home, I go grab my Kindle and bring it with me wherever I'm going. Um, and then, yeah, depending on where I read the night before, my book is usually either downstairs or upstairs. And then I'll just grab it and go where I'm going to read. What time of day do you spend most of the time reading? So I do work a full-time job. So usually during the week, my um, reading tends to take place probably from like, I wanna say seven to nine, seven to 10. Um, sometimes I'll read up in bed, but it's, literally like the evenings to nighttime is when I typically read the most on the weekdays. Um, during the weekends, I would say it kind of varies. It depends on what plans I have, but I prefer to read like right in the morning when I wake up. Um, not that I don't like reading at night, but I obviously just get super tired at night. So I like to like wake up, have some coffee or have some tea and read kind of first thing in the morning. Um, during the summer, a lot of times, I honestly would like get up on the weekends, leave, I would go to get a coffee and like a breakfast sandwich and then like go read at the park near my house for a couple of hours. I love doing that. Um, now I just kind of wake up and then just kind of hang out in my little reading areas. But yeah, so on the weekdays, typically I'm a nighttime reader because I work and then on the weekends, I like to read kind of in the morning and midday times. Um, so. How long do you typically read in one go? So again, kind of varies. Um, I typically would say on average, I read between two to two and a half hours at one time on the weekdays. And on the weekends, I honestly probably can read from like 
I would say on average, like two to four hours in one go. I will take like small, like little breaks to like get something to drink or go to the bathroom, um, go on my phone just to take a quick peek at things. But essentially if I'm like just sitting and reading, if that's like my plans for that time, I can go hours, honestly. Um, and I prefer it that way. Like I am not like one of those people that can like read in increments. Like I do bring my Kindle with me everywhere, but I am the worst at sporadic reading. Like there are some people that can like pick up their phone, read on their Kindle a page or two and like be good. But I am like not that person. I am like needing to be immersed in my book. Um, so like if I only have like a short drive, I won't really, unless I know the audiobook, like if it's like a re-listen, I will. But if it's like the first time I'm listening to an audiobook, I won't listen to it in the car. If it's a short drive, I tend to, if I'm at like a doctor's office, if I only have like 10 minutes where I'm like waiting to get called in, I typically just like scroll on my phone because for me, it's like, I can't, only be reading a book for 10 minutes. Like I am a long-term reader for sure. Otherwise I just genuinely don't get as immersed into the story as I would like. And I genuinely think that it would like impact my reading, my rating. I mean, um, it would genuinely impact my rating. Do you read hard covers with the dust jacket on or off? A hundred percent dust jacket is gone. I do not read with the dust jackets on my hardcover books unless it's a library book because they come with it. Um, but I always say take the dust jackets off. I never used to. So what I used to do is I genuinely used to tape my dust jackets onto my, onto the book, like in here. So that way when I was reading it, it wouldn't come off. Um, so I used to read with the dust jackets on now. Absolutely not. I always take them off when I'm reading for sure. It annoys me if they're on and I feel like it just da can damage the dust jackets. And like now that I like collect books more than just like read them, it's a no go for me, dog. Which position do you mainly use to read? Um, so I typically am a sit in my chair and read kind of girl or I will sit on my like couch I have upstairs in my reading room. I'm a sitter. If I lay down, I will fall asleep unless it's like first thing in the morning. Like if I like just wake up, roll over, grab my Kindle, I can lay in bed just fine reading. But if it's like midday to PM, zonked I will knock out um which is unfortunate because I do love to lay down while I'm reading but like typically the two places that I would say that I read the most um and I do love it I got a nice comfy chair and I got a nice comfy couch the big red comfy couch oh my god do you guys remember that show you know I feel like no one ever remembers that show when I talk about it so but that used to be my jam I'm just throwing that out there if anybody remembers that show comment down below because we need to chat because I feel like no one remembers that show. Anyways, <laughs> do you take the book you're currently reading everywhere you go? Um, so I do have another Kindle that is always in my bag. So if I'm reading a book on my Kindle, it goes with me everywhere. Obviously, I also have the Kindle app on my phone. As far as like a physical book, I would say if I know there's a chance that I'll read, like if I'm going on a long car ride, or if I'm going somewhere, like if I'm going to my dad's house and we'll be there for a couple of hours, sometimes I'll bring my book with me. Um, because a lot of times like my dad and my husband will go be like doing something. Um, and then me and my stepmom will just hang out at the house and read. So I do tend to bring my books there. But honestly, no, like I don't pack my book with me. Like unless I'm intentionally going to be reading or if I know I'm going to be reading, like when I'm going somewhere to read. Um, otherwise I don't. How often do you update your progress on Goodreads? So I used to update my progress literally all the time, my love. I used to update it when I started the book, when I was like sp sporadically pages, boop, boop, boop. I would constantly put it in. And then when I finished the book, um, now I genuinely sometimes don't even remember to like mark a book as currently reading, um, which is new to me because I used to do that all the time. Um, but recently I just have not done that and I don't really know why. 
but yeah it used to be like something i would do like religiously like i would mark it as currently reading i would put my pages in like every day like at the end of the day and then i would mark it when i was finished now if i finish a book i just go in mark it as finished and then i'll put in my like reading dates if i know like when i started the book um but i think that like i used to put so much pressure on myself like if i felt like i was taking a long time to read a book because i was like oh my god like it's gonna say on my goodreads i'm still reading it like six days later and it's like who cares like quite literally who cares darling no one so i've like now that like i don't monitor it as intently on goodreads um I'm a little bit more like relaxed with myself like if I don't finish a book in a couple of days like I'm not like going crazy over here um because it used to drive me nuts like I'll be like oh my god everyone's gonna see that it took me so long to read this book and it's like whoa dial it back um it is not that big of a deal so well, I hope you guys enjoyed this is like I said the currently reading tag I had a lot of fun filming it it's always fun to just kind of talk about like reading habits how you pick books how you read books you know everything like that that's always so so much fun so i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below how many books you guys read at once i'm very interested because some people in my life are like mind blown that i can like read more than one book at one time um and then there's some people that i know that like can read way more books than I do at one time. So I'm interested to see how many books you guys can read. So definitely comment down below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And let me know also if you have any other interesting video ideas you'd like me to do. I have a couple of fun videos coming up that I am super excited to film. Um, so hopefully you guys stick around for that. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next video.